they, they need some space. <laughs> now, these kids, who else had grown kids that still live at home? Right? Our parents were rough. They were strict. They inspired us to get the hell out. My mother, you turn 18, you're going to go to the army, you're going to go to school, you're going to get the hell out of here. And even when we was there, she had so many rules and regulations, you wanted to leave. And whenever she laid the law down, she's going to give us the address like we forgot where we live. Oh, oh not at 97, 19. You want to be closing doors at 97, 19. You want to be taking girls in your room. I couldn't wait to get my ass out of 97, 19. But the economy is different now, so hang in there, man, do your thing. It's crazy, though, like, because like, my, my wife and I, we have three grown kids together, uh, total. And uh, her daughter, her daughter went away to um, lived with the boyfriend for a little while. She knew the boyfriend. Her son went away to school. He went away to school. When he came back, I'm like, ooh. Um, I didn't think that's how that goes. I thought, thought you go and continue to go, you know. And it's not like I don't love him like he's my own. It's just that, you know, his room right behind us. <laughs> Same wall, you know. We still trying to get it in. But, oh, I don't know about your parents, but we still getting it in. And, uh, Believe me, they are too, but they're doing it quietly, like mine. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy, because I know, like he, I know he know we doing it, because I hear him through the wall going, hum, you know. <laughs> like he frustrated with us to have a second, I own them house. This ain't your this house. And once while I put a little extra effort, so she goes, ah, you hear it through the wall. <laughs> You and your mom get it in through the wall, you get your life right. Uh, I get a little loud. Uh, mm, uh. You on that wall, what is he doing to you? Is he hurting you? So true story, one night it was three in the morning, right? Three in the morning, everybody should be asleep. Would you say that? I, so we come in and we had a little tipsy night too. You know how, you know when you get your wife a little tipsy, she's a different person. Tipsy is cute, not drunk. Drunk is some bull. Drunk is the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. And I hate your damn mom. Oh, that. <laughs> tipsy is the blood. I'm tipsy. You want to see my tip? I'm like, I show you. want to see your tip? Let me see that little tip. Let me see the tip. Matter of fact, when you know your wife tipsy, you follow her to the room a little bit. Oh, she a little tipsy. That's the tipsy one, bro. We had a little tipsy night, right? So we, we get to the room, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, we get it in. And when I say we got it in, fellas, I put it in work, it was a session. <laughs> you know, when you call it a session, you put that work in. After a session, you're thirsty. <laughs> right? So I'm getting up, give me a beverage after my session. And I ain't thinking at 3 in the morning, nobody should be up. Why should they be, right? So I ain't getting dressed, I was butt naked. I didn't put on a sock. And I was still kind of heavy at the time. <laughs> Y'all do know it's levels, hard, heavy, soft, sleep. Uh, if you ain't got all them levels, I ain't in your business. Uh, so I'm going to the kitchen, a little heavy, go to the freezer, the top part, you know, get a little ice. I'm not thinking he a gamer, he online with it, right? He in the basement on the system. I ain't thinking he up. I go to close the freezer, I'm butt naked, heavy. Here he is at the top of the steps. I look at him, he look at me, we both ran. <laughs> Three days later, he joined the Air Force. Uh, 